What up guys, compa Giovanni, welcome back to the Requintazo Podcast Donde enseño cosas que me están ayudando a mejorar como persona y negociante You don't need fucking record labels or big companies in order to make it So this is my belief, alright? And nothing's gonna tell me otherwise So, escribí este comentario en Instagram y me llegó un comentario diciendo Well, I respect your hustle and everything, dude, but you, you need a label in order to make it. And I'm like, no, you don't. And he's like, yeah. And I'm like, if those are your beliefs, then those would be your limits. And that's true. Like, if you actually believe that, then yeah, that's gonna be your limit. That's gonna be your truth. It ain't mine. It's your truth. All right, so I, I replied that to him and he was like, and yeah, basically he was like, nah, you can never make it. And honestly, you could, dude. And I have a simple formula that I'm gonna share with you right now. A simple formula that I use, cause I'm not part of a label. I'm not, I'm not a big company, but I'm following this and this is what allowed me to live or make it doing what I love, which is music. You gotta think outside the box. So the first step, we can't think like big labels or big companies because we're not them. We don't have their money, we don't have the resources. So we have to think smarter, we have to think different. Views don't matter. These record labels, they depend on views because that's they need all these people to fill out venues and stuff so they can make their money. But honestly, for us little guys, views don't matter. And I'll tell you why right now. If you're watching this on YouTube, this video is probably only gonna get 80 views. And probably you're thinking, well, that's not a lot of views, but try speaking in front of 80 people. 80 people's enough, dude. And I'll give you an example why views don't matter. In order for me to make 10,000 a month, how many orders or how many people do you think have to buy from me every month? If you're guessing 5,000, nope. 2,000, nope. Not even 1,000. Every single month, I only get about 350 orders. And that's enough to make $10,000 a month. So if you're telling me you can't get 350 people to support what you do, then you have to work on your confidence, dude. Because getting only 300 people to support what you do, to support your music, to support everything you do, that's not that hard. All right. Even if you only get a hundred people, that's enough to live and enough to make it. If you're telling me you can't get a hundred people, dude, then get out of here. You're in the wrong game or just keep doing it for fun. Keep believing that you need all these views. You don't. So that's the first thing you have to keep in mind. Views don't matter, but you do need to build an audience. And how do you do this? You don't build it by asking. You don't build it by asking for shout outs. Like, People are always thinking, what can I take? How can I get more people to follow me? And that's the wrong way to think, dude, because if you're thinking like that, what can I keep taking? What can I keep taking? No one's gonna wanna follow you. Why? Because you're fucking greedy. You have to switch that mentality. Once you make this switch, people are gonna start naturally following you. And instead of thinking, what can I take? You have to start asking yourself, what can I give? What can I give that no one else can? If you check my other videos, dude, my videos used to get thousands of views, all those Requinto tutorials. But I was like, I felt like I was wasting my time because obviously there's other YouTubers. Everyone knows Jorge Aguilera. That's what he's known for. That's what how he made it. That's how, that's what he did to get those followers. He was giving. So in my case, I was like, if I stop making tutorials, people aren't gonna care because there's already people doing this shit. So what can I do? What can only I do to give to people? And I realized that I have a different mentality than most people. For example, you right now, you're thinking that you can't make it. And I'm like, why can't everyone think like me? Like, why can't everyone think, oh yeah, I can make it. I just have to work hard and do it. It's that simple, but I mean, everyone has different lives and they they go to different shit. So most people, I don't know what they go through and they lose that belief in themselves. 
they don't believe in themselves they're like i can't do this shit like you have to be born in a special family or you need to have money to do this you need to have you need to be famous to do this you don't dude you just gotta believe in yourself all these other companies Rancho Humilde, Icaro, remember that they started from zero too, dude? Like, there were people just like you and me. And they were like, fuck the system. I'm not going to let that define who I am. I'm going to do something about it. And they built something. Fucking Jimmy built his, one of the largest uh, disqueras right now. Everyone wants to be part of Rancho Humilde right now. He didn't let that stop him. All right? So, views don't matter. You got to believe in yourself. And lastly... All you need to do, once you start building this audience, you just got to offer something to them. It doesn't have to be much. It doesn't have to be expensive. Offer fucking... <laughs> My first idea was a fucking curso. All I did was record it on a camera. And yeah, it helps them out. It helps them learn. And that was my offer. That's how I started. Now I sell strings. People could buy any other marca, but they choose to buy mine. Why? Because they support me. Because I gave them more than they're giving me. All right? That's how everything connects. So all you have to do is offer a product and don't, and when you're coming up with this idea for a product, don't think, what can I sell to make me money? Again, you have to think, you gotta make that switch. What can I create? to help change people's lives, to make it easier, to solve their problems. And once you do that, dude, the money's gonna come in automatically. So this was a simple podcast, a short podcast. I hope this helps you out. Hope it helps open your mind, expand your mind, and change your belief in yourself. You can make it, dude. You don't need fucking big labels or fucking disqueras. Just echale ganas, dude. I'm going to end this podcast here, share the video, and I'll see you in the next podcast.